Hello, my name is Charlie Scheinust. I'm a senior computer scientist on the Shadow team, and I'm here to show you some great new features in Adobe Shadow. First off, we're going to take a look at localhost. It used to be that you had to type in your machine's IP address in the URL bar to get content to your devices. Now all you have to do is type in localhost. And as you can see, your content gets synced to your devices instantaneously. You can also type in your loopback IP address or machine.local if you're running on an OSX machine. So another great feature we added to Adobe Shadow is pull to refresh. You've probably seen this on a number of other mobile applications, and we found it would be helpful in Shadow. As you can see here, I can make changes to my code. I'm going to change this to today's menu highlights. I'm going to save it and pull to refresh without even going back into Chrome. You can see my change appearing there. Another thing that pull to refresh does is it forces the device to reload all files and clear the cache. Next, I'm going to show you how this new improved localhost functionality allows Adobe Edge and Adobe Shadow to work together. If you haven't heard of it before, Adobe Edge is a new web motion and interaction design tool. Let me show you how it works. I have an animation here in Edge, and as I scrub through it, I can see that one of my elements is appearing earlier than I want it to. And I don't actually want this plus symbol to show up until all the other letters. So I'm going to go ahead and change that in Edge, move it out a little bit. And then let's just preview. Adobe Edge is opening up Chrome and using the loopback IP address, and all my devices are following along. The change took, and the element's now appearing when I want it to. So that's Shadow and Edge together. As you can see, Shadow allows you to get your Edge content out to all your devices painlessly. That's what I have for today. I hope you found it useful. You can get the latest version of Shadow at labs.adobe.com where you can also get the latest version of Edge. The Adobe Shadow team uses your feedback to come up with these new features. If there's anything else you'd like to see or anything you'd like to say, find us on the adobe.com forums. That's it. Thank you for watching.